<laughs> it's so funny. We're going today uh, at six o'clock. We are going to move everything in this real background. Oh my God. This is my, oh, that is so funny. I'm actually sitting in front of this stuff, but I had my husband make it a virtual background because I'm going to move everything. Oh my God. It's still on. Oh, how weird. That's incredible. Anyway, it's actually, it's my real and virtual background. <laughs> oh, that's why I was like, honey, it's so weird. Your guitar is not there. And it's the virtual back. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It looks so real. It's amazing. Not so work. It is. And it is real because it's really there. <laughs> I thought I, I I wanted to have it real and virtual and I got confused. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling well. Thank you. Thank you. And hello, everyone. Good to see you. Hello. People. What am I doing here? It's recorded. Okay. Well, we're going to start. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, oh, this is my view is wrong gallery. There we go. Um, yeah. Hey everybody. Uh, this is watch me work. I have a real and a virtual background, which just defies <laughs> excitement. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I hope everybody had a, 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 a good, uh, you know, Thanksgiving process. Uh, we've been doing this show for over 14 years and we're still doing it because that's what we do. What we do is uh, we work together and then we talk about your work and your creative process. And recently we were embraced by the new work development department. And Amrita is the queen of the New York work development department. And you want to say hi? Sure. Hi, everyone. It's good to see you. My name is Amrita. I'm the director of new work development at The Public. I started about a year and a half ago. Thrilled to be with all of you and thrilled to be with USLP. Yay. And Zoe's here too, holding it down. Hi, everyone. I'm Zoe. I'm the New York development manager, and I'm happy to be here. Okay. And so we're going to do what we always do. We're going to work together for 20 minutes. And then after the timer, we're going to, uh, you're going to ask me questions about your work and your creative process. And while we don't have time to, for you to read from your work or perform your dance piece or, or, or you know, anything like that, um, we do have time to talk about process. I know, Rebecca, thank you. It's so good to see you, Rebecca. I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for laughing at all my corny ass jokes. Hey, here we are. <laughs> and so we will begin.
<laughs> All right. That's 20 minutes. Now it's time. If y'all have questions, I'll answer. Yes, please. If you have a question, use your raise your hand function and I'll go ahead and call on your name and then you can please unmute yourself and ask the questions. If you could raise your hand, then we'll get a cue going and you'll get your turn. While we're in silence, I'm going to say hi to Isabella. Is that you? It's you. Hey. Mwah. Send you a kiss. Haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. Don't be shy. Or or be shy. I'll just read my book silently to myself. <laughs> I'm reading Toni Morrison, The Origin of Others. This isn't a great book. Look how beautiful this book is. Oh, look. There you go. Come on, Rebecca. Yes, Rebecca, please go ahead and unmute yourself. So I had filled out the little question form because I'm a shy person. And now I have to talk. So, um, Shy person? Uh, since, uh, okay. So, you know, the, the question was about being relatively shy about meeting strangers who I feel like would be interested in my work and how you... Your experience going about that, any recommendations? Like, I don't have a business card to hand people, or I guess I could make one, but um, just any thoughts you have about that question? Great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, business cards are, you know, not a lot of people use them these days, but they're a great way to just say, hi, this is me. You know what I mean? And when you're talking with someone, you know, you give them your card and it's got all your info on it so they don't have to stand there and blah, blah, blah. You know, you don't have to do that. It's got a beautiful photograph of beautiful you on it. It's got some information about you on it. I think business cards are great. Vista print, I think. I mean, I don't get paid, but I'm not an endorsee, but they make cards. They're affordable. Mm -hmm. They're really fun. You can put any image on them you want, you know, make them glossy or whatever. They're really, really nice. I would say that's a great step Rebecca to begin meeting strangers because what you're doing is what they call in Germany for which in uh, 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 American English we say pre-gaming for in Germany they for before they go out I mean my husband tells me these things before you go to the bar you drink a little bit at home so you kind of warm up the engine so when you get to the bar, you're already a little bit, you know, ready to socialize. And then also you don't have to spend as much money. I know that's way too much. It's a, it's a, it's a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. What you're, what you're doing by making your business cards is you're anticipating the meeting, the moments when you're going to meet people. So you're getting, you're pre-gaming, you're getting in the right headspace. Mm -hmm. So now you have your cool business card. I love that idea. And where would you meet these people, do you think? Online well, or events? There's there's two people in particular I'm feeling like would be really interested. Yes. One I'm I'm hoping to meet tomorrow night, uh somehow. And uh the other was uh so this person is a musician as well, was Rhiannon Giddon, because frankly, we use the same sources and I um has sort of been following her around wherever she is nearby, but have yet to like get to the, you know, stage door afterwards and have her sign my CDs because I buy CDs still <laughs> or anything like that. So some of it is, some is the business card piece, which I was at the um, independent publishers event in, I guess that, when was that? July or something? And um, and I didn't have a business card and there are all these, you know, magazines and book people there. And, and I thought, oh, I really should have a business card. And then I thought, I really should like deal with my, my branding issues. And I did some of that. I have a new logo for my writing self and a different one for my consulting self. And um, 
Uh, so, so, so it's tomorrow. More... So tomorrow night. So yes. so, Rihanna, so two things. One, we'll talk about Rihanna Giddens in a minute. But the second thing, um, tomorrow night, you're going to meet somebody, right? I you're plan be to. Event, huh? I plan to, yes. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, um, yes. Do you know what you're going to wear? Um, well, I'm doing laundry tomorrow morning, so I'll know by then. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Because I, I believe in costume. I mean, this is, you know, you're uh, going to sit on a show. Oh, come on. <laughs> you sit on a show. Mm -hmm. So you want to think about what you're going to wear. You want to think about your costume, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, you know, as they say, the clothes make the, the woman, the clothes make the person. All right. Yes. Okay, so we're we're going off of that. So so spend you know ten minutes after that we're done here. Think about what you're gonna wear. Okay, this is what I'm gonna wear. I it something that looks good. You feel good in it, and you know it makes you feel like you're ready to mingle. That will take care of so much of the what you would call shyness. You know, mm -hmm. I would call it like you uh you know what you want and you don't suffer fools. That's what I would call it. Like, you don't, you seem to me, and I've never met you in person, but you seem to me, or I've never met you recently in person, but you seem to me someone who just doesn't got time for no mess, right? <laughs> People be, yeah, 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 you're like, oh, please, I don't got time for no mess. That, that, so you might come, you might say you're shy to keep yourself out of situations where, in my own experience, I start doing this. <laughs> making faces yeah i can't help it because you're talking shit you know so i try to keep myself out of situations like that um so okay so you're dressed in something that you love that looks good on you and you feel comfortable in you're at this event and do you how much about the person you're going to meet do you know uh i i know a lot great and yes great. yes great one thing that works for me is I ask someone questions about themselves. Yeah. Not because like, I don't know anything, but because I know a lot about them and I just want them to know that I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Think of ways that you can help them achieve their goals by publishing your book. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. How can I help you do what you want to do? Put yourself in the frame of mind. I always do a service. How can I help you to achieve your goals? And then I'm, I'm going to be someone who's going to be a boon to you. Right? Um, not what are you going to do for me? I mean, in this, I had a meeting with some of our son's teachers, and apparently we were the only parents in the entire school who opened the meeting with, Teacher, how can we help you do you know be more, you know do your job in a in a in a better way? How can how can we help you on our end? You mm. know what I mean. Not what are you doing for my kid? We never asked that. We were always like, how can we help you? Teachers were in tears. No one talks to them like that. So publishers are are also underappreciated heroes, right? Mm -hmm. um, and and how can I how how can how can I help you? You know, yeah, yes, that kind of thing, and then they'll, they'll just start talking about it sounds weird themselves, which is okay, but that's okay, you know, they'll start talking about what they like and their tastes and and that's that, and just draw draw them out. Maybe they're also shy, or maybe they're also reserved and don't suffer fools and don't like events so much, you know, mm -hmm. draw them out, make a friend. You know how to make friends, we're friends, we made friends. Yes. You know what I mean? You're interested. Mm -hmm. You have a lot to say. You have a lot of great things going for you. And about Rihanna Giddens, just tell yourself that you're going to meet her soon. I'm trying to figure out when she's back in the U.S., but yes. Don't, 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 don't worry about the how. Yeah. No, uh, her schedule, her travel. Well, you're going to try to figure out her travel schedule. Lord have mercy. <laughs> just tell yourself you're going to meet her. Mm -hmm. You're going to meet Rihanna. You're going to meet other people like her. You know okay. what I mean? Just sure. keep telling yourself you're going to meet her. You're going to meet her. It's going to be great. You guys are going to have a wonderful conversation. Just, just, you know, you've, you've written a whole book, right? You've written yeah. a lot of stuff. You got to write 
this next chapter. And the next chapter is not in between the pages of a book, right? The next chapter is, you know, on the world stage. You just got to write it. I know it sounds like woo woo, but no, no, it's, you know, I, I really feel very strongly about, you know, affirmations and positive thinking or whatever you call it <laughs> I'm not sure what you call it you know but but you know uh some people call it practicing the presence of God that's a lovely way to say it. yeah pra we practice the presence of God we are in line with the spirit every some of my friend uh, the other day everything you say is an affirmation she reminded me everything you say is an affirmation and that's mm -hmm. not licensed to beat yourself up for saying some negative things sometimes, because that's not what this that's about. The idea is to just know that you're constantly speaking the word. Constantly. Every word that comes out of your mouth, the words that are in your head. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, I mean, you can just say, I, I, I meet wonderful people. Wonderful, awesome people are interested in my book. It's all coming together. Just hypnotize yourself with those things because what's great, Rebecca, you've done the work. Do you see what I mean? It's not like you're sitting around like saying affirmations and like sipping a Mai Tai watching Jerry Springer reruns or something like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That would be weird. But you know what I'm saying? You're, you're not that person. You're the kind of person who does the work, who shows up, who puts the time in, who does the, does the hard work. And now it's time to, you know, make God your partner. And if God isn't the right three letter word for you, you know, make, uh, make, uh, I don't know what another three letter word is, but <laughs> make yay your partner. How's that? <laughs> make okay. yay your partner. Yay. yay. <laughs> yeah. You know, doesn't, sure. cost you yeah. any, doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to subscribe to an elaborate pyramid scheme. Mm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I do. It's out there. Yeah. It's for you. Like us. See, it's free. Here it is. Woo. Free. That's right. Yes. Make, make yay your partner, girl. Have a wonderful <laughs> time tomorrow night. Thank you. I will. I, I, I'm looking forward to it a whole lot. And I just had a flashback to when I was in Cincinnati and Jerry Springer was mayor. So I'm just a little discombobbled at the moment. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> that is the past. We are moving forward. <laughs> bless his heart. Bless him. Bless him. Lord have mercy. He has moved on to other things. Yes. He has moved on to other things. <laughs> yes. yes. He has moved on to other things. He certainly has. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Rebecca. Great to see you. It's good to see you. you. Too. How about Isabella? Please unmute yourself. SLP. Oh. Where in the world are you? You muted yourself. You, you pressed the wrong button. Come on. You're one of those youngins. You're supposed to know how to use technology. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're just moving your head. There you go. Okay. Now we're good. SLP. Got it. I'm, I'm at the public theater right now. Thank goodness. I work three blocks away, so I've been coming here to write uh, for a couple hours every day. I've been thinking about you. I oh, miss you so much. Oh, like um, so great to see but you. It's so good to see you. It's so good to hear your voice. Um, I guess, so, you know, post-grad, I was like, okay, I'm going to finish that play I worked on in your class. And <laughs> then I worked on another play. <laughs> and Right. and and brought that to fruition brought that to a reading and that was beautiful and had other people involved it was it was a great experience but now I'm like okay I I'm I book tickets to go out of the country for winter break at the end of December so I'm like all right Isabella you're gonna finish that draft and I woke up at 6 a.m today this is the first day I did it but I was like 6 a.m all right we're writing now <laughs> And yeah, so I've just been doing a lot of tarot card readings and, and connecting with God. I always think of you when I get the high priestess card and just hearing your voice like when you're not here and thinking about you has just really guided me just this post-grad like, oh, what am I doing? Where am I going? So mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. you know, staying grounded in that and 
And as I'm working on this play, it's really like the first, I think, um, day that I'm really back to it. Right. And I, I got a moment of like, okay, this is what this first scene needs to about. But I know tomorrow it's like, okay, I'm writing consciously, I think like without a plot, you know what I mean? Um, I'm asking like, what is my play telling me? And I think I know abstractly, but as far as just the, what we learned in your class of like really being inside it and looking around and getting so granular, that feels a little overwhelming right now. Um, and so I'm just trying to find a way back in. Yeah. So maybe, I mean, that's great, Isabel. It sounds like, again, you too, you were doing the work, which is really, really admirable. And it's hard. Uh, it, the work can be difficult. And especially if you've, you know, were in school and now you're out of school. And so just a different kind of setup. Um, sometimes you get back into it. Sometimes may maybe you do need to step away from it and if it doesn't marshmallow think about plot plot isn't isn't bad you know it's just like plot is just like character character doing its thing right right you know oedipus yeah. it's just oedipus oedipus is like i will find out who killed him <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I just say, I am, I say, I am, I say, I am, I say, I am. And that's what he does. Yes, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does it, right? It's yeah. just, he's, right? So plot is just character doing his thing. And that's, that's, that's okay to pull back a little bit. If granular is too much, pull back mm -hmm. a little bit. Just say, okay, scene one, this happens. Scene two, this happens. Scene three, the, does that, is that helpful or? Yeah, that is helpful. It is helpful. I'm just, I think. Um, I hear a butt. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I'm just that type of person. I'm like, all right, if I do this, this and that, where am I ultimately going? You know, and I think being outside of school and I'm just letting myself try things have been has been like a testament to that aspect of my personality. But I think I just have to right and kind of keep on going with it yeah um, would it would it would it ruin the, would it does it make sense right now to create some goals you know like i mean or does that like yeah no goals no i i can handle goals i think i, I, I can, think handle can handle so goals so you're gonna in how, when do you leave from your vacation? Um, like the twenty eighth of December. Great. So, so from now, what is today? What is today? Oh my god, I love when this happens. What is today? Today is the twenty seventh. <laughs> so you have a month. I love when that happens. Yeah. I love when that happens. I love like little square little boxes. So yeah, you have from the twenty eighth from the twenty seventh through the twenty seventh. Yeah to finish another draft of your play yeah. your goal is to cross the finish line that's all just finish a draft that's all and where yeah. are you going where are you going on your vacation um i'm going to spain to visit um a friend and then i'm going to paris by myself which i'm really excited for congratulations so yeah. you're going to cross the finish line on the 27th of december and then you're going to have a vacation yeah that's your goal that's that's all that's what you get that's where you're going you're going to spain and then paris you're going to cross the finish line then you're going to spain and then paris <laughs> and then you're going to come home yeah. <laughs> i mean just like yeah. we can keep it simple you know and and what the next steps after you come back from spain and paris having finished another draft the next steps will be more discoverable once you come back right you know you, you can't see the whole thing right now because you know you're 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 where you're at you know you're where you are so mm -hmm. Does that make sense it makes a lot of sense yeah just divide up the how many scenes do you got i can't remember how many um i have about i think like two scenes that i know are in the play but i mean how many scenes total will you have when you're done Oh, when I'm done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I think about I think about nine to ten scenes. Oh, divide so divide them up, you know. Yeah. Or you know, like you know, one day you'll take you'll do you know four days you'll spend on one scene. You know, divide it up. Get a calendar. Print out a. I don't have it. You know, print out one of those calendars. You can print, you know, an apple cap, you know, with blank. Yeah. And you need, like for the first X number of days, you're going to work on that scene. And then you're going to work mm -hmm. on that scene. And you're going to be really, really just methodical. You're just going to be, you just, just, you're just going to, like you're walking down the street. You just do it. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, but, but give yourself, get yourself an outline first. Okay. Like tonight, just write out yeah. something. Doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be like good enough. Good enough. Write yourself an outline, and then just walk, and then just divide up the the bits you have to write, and then just write them, and then you're done. And then you can go to Spain and Paris. <laughs> All right, I will do it. I'll start with an outline because I think right. sometimes my mistake is like I'm writing and then I go right when I should go left. I go left and then. Yeah, oh but my God. Know, how did I get here? Right is left, really. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah. Because the world is, is right. Yeah, yeah, left is all right, and right is left, and you know, <laughs> don't worry about it. Yeah, it's okay. You you just you came you showed up here today. There you go. Yeah. That that mm -hmm. was that was that was something in the correct direction. Good. Right. <laughs> we don't know if it's right or left, though. We have no idea. Thank you so much, SLP. Thank you so much. Come check in with us before you go to Spain and Paris. I would love that. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Then. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mute yourself. Hey, Kimmy. Hi, SLP. So hey. good to see you and everybody. Um, this is a, a moment I wanted to take uh, to say thank you. I get so emotional when I talk to you because I'm so grateful to have met you um, just in this space back at Cal Arts a hundred years ago. And um, after your play, I um, started a play. I got it in my head to apply to NYU for dramatic writing. And I uh, started a new play and just submitted it yesterday. Um, the cutoff is the deadline is the first of December and I got a little panicky, but I got it in and, and uh, the note that you just gave Rebecca and thank you for your question, Rebecca, but how can I help you achieve your goals? It's just, it's basically what you say every time you come on here. And I'm so grateful because I'll be 62 when I go to school and um, it doesn't even phase me that I'm going to be 62, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm so excited. And, and I'm so grateful that you have instilled such wonderful techniques and, and disciplines and ease and simplicity, you break everything down, and I wouldn't have been able to finish something like this. It's a, it's a, the play is, um, I had no idea it was me all over this play. I, I, it's just so autobiographical. It scares me, but, um, it's about a woman who, uh, a menopausal woman who, uh, didn't commit suicide because she found the note too arduous, you know, cause, cause writing is rewriting and it's just such a pain in the ass. And so, you know, you just put off committing suicide until you can get back to the writing. And so um, uh, it was, it came really easy, despite how hard it was to write. Um, and that is all because of you and this group of um, amazing writers and artists that come together and ask questions I didn't think of, but that certainly apply to me. And I want to thank everybody you know, that is a part of this Monday meeting um, for the people that are putting it up and sponsored to the, to the people that ask the questions and all the writers and all the artists. I just want to say how grateful I am for everything that, that this group provides. So thank you. Oh, thank you, Kimmy. It's a congratulations on finishing your play and turning it in. Thank and you. Best of, best of luck. Um, in your application process.
So, thank you. So proud of you. Thank you. I'm so nervous. And, um, you know, because it's a lot different applying for school now than it was when I applied a <laughs> hundred years ago, you know, and, uh, um, it, you know, and how do you fit 62 years of experience into 750 words and how do you know, for your statement of purpose and how do you streamline your resume? And it's, 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 really been so hard those are muscles that I haven't used in a very very long time and mm -hmm. um, I'm so excited to be in New York I'm so excited to write I'm so excited to I want to be a professional writer and I just I can't wait to get started I just can't wait and I I wouldn't be here if I didn't have your encouragement all the time whether it's to me directly or to somebody else um it would never even occur to me to apply to school because I'm from that, Hey, have something to fall back on generation, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and, uh, you just make everything so attainable. Thank you so very, very much for you being you. Yeah. I adore you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Hey, John. Hello, can you guys hear me? Hi. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. I had a I had a a different question, but but I'm going to use my question for a clarifying question because something you said a little earlier about um, plot is just character doing its thing. Now, my question is: Is that a descriptive statement? You know, that because you used the Oedipus example, right? So you said Oedipus. You know, he's like, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. So that's that's you and that's me reading Oedipus, right? But is your statement, does that also mean like prescriptively, like, like if you or if someone sits down to write, is it your thought? Because I've never done this and I, because I, it doesn't, it's a little bit um, different for me, but to sit down, because I, I think about, th I plan things out pretty precisely ahead of time and and but I do know that there are people who will sit down they'll have an idea like you said a couple weeks ago for a character who just really wants something right that character wants that thing and just start there and go um is that is that is that a recipe you think that's a that's a that's a useful one because to me it's pretty scary to me it's like well I think someone else said like I don't know where where this is going to go but um is that something that, that you know that that uh, you think is worth it? Is worth giving it a shot? Is that how you do it? Wow, that's a really great question, Jonathan. And um, so I I would uh, ask I, I don't know anything about you, but I would I, I I'm guessing because uh, it's a human thing and it's probably a thing of all creatures and beings that we have two ways of looking at something from the inside, like here I am right now. And from the outside, I oh, my hand disappeared uh, from the outside. Woo, you know, like, like a hundred feet away. Yeah. You have the ability, for example, right now, you're looking at us on this screen, right? That is true. You're in yourself. Now, if you can imagine, um, I hope this isn't, uh, it's a psych it's a psychological thing you're going to do it's it's perfectly safe you're just going to imagine yourself like looking at yourself from the side okay like you're a little outside yourself right got it like, right okay now go back in yourself all cool mm -hmm. this is what we do right you know like like almost when you look in the mirror you know you're looking back at yourself you know you can you, we can do that as creatures and i'm sure all creatures can do it <clears throat> i'm just the only one who we're just the only ones who talk about it right so um that we know of, that I know of. So that's what you're doing when you're making character. So when I was doing that Oedipus thing, I was in Oedipus. I was being Oedipus, but also at the same time, I was outside of Oedipus reading, as you said, reading Oedipus. So what I'm suggesting is when you say, let the character just do their thing, I want you to be in the character 
I want something really bad, like Oedipus. I'm going to, I'm going to find out what happened. I'm going to find out who killed him. Right. I mean, I'm, this is me, my version of Oedipus. Lord have mercy. It's such a beautiful play. I'm going to find out who killed him. I'm going to find out what happened. I'm going to, well, shit, I married my mother. Hmm. Okay. Um, that's the guy talking, right? Oedipus. But also there's the awareness of Oedipus, which is outside of him. And that's, if you're outside, like when you're, like when you're standing on the earth, I mean, there might be flat earthers in this group. Okay. If there are just pretend you're somewhere else and plug your ears. But for those of us who realize that the world is round, we're standing on the earth right now and it doesn't look round, right? If we went into space, that distance again, that I'm talking about, you could see how it's curved. Do you understand? When yes. you write a character, I want you to be in your character, somebody who wants something. And at the same time, when you write your plot, step outside of your character for a minute and see the curve of the earth. See what they're doing in scene one, what they're doing in scene two, et cetera. And then jump back in and go, okay, now in this scene, they want something really bad. <laughs> step outside, look at the curve of the earth again. So has, did what they did in scene four get them any closer to what they wanted? You know? Yeah. Okay. Good, great. Go to the next scene. Do you, do you, does that make any kind of sense to you at all? Yes. No, that's really helpful. It's very, um, uh, I, I wouldn't say safe, but it's, it's very, it's what we as, as human, as, as creatures do all the time. We're in ourselves and also we're outside looking at ourselves, watching ourselves do things. And that's just employing those two ways of seeing, if you will, ways of being, if you will. Right. And that can really fuel your story and help you help you stay on the road with your story. It's fun. It gets you acting out your characters all around the room, which is fun. Um, at least it's fun for me. No, that's great. Thank you. That's helpful. Sure. Thank you. Great, great question. Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. Crystal? Hello. Hi. Darlin, how are you? I'm good. I'm doing good. <laughs> um, a quick update. Okay. Um, uh, my play. Zephyr. Black woman and her and her feet. No, no not that one. <laughs> but I am going to go back to that. Um, uh, uh, Zeph and Violet, the very first play I worked on, yes. um, like eight years ago. Um, I have an industry reading for it tomorrow. So please keep me in your thoughts. Yeah. Um, what time? What time? At 7.30. Congratulations. Okay. We will keep you in our thoughts. We will no. send you great positive vibes. Thank you so much. And I'll be acting in it too. So great. do you know what you're wearing? Yes. Good. Okay. At least on the top. <laughs> okay. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh -huh. you're ready, you're ready, you know what you're wearing, you're gonna have a wonderful time. You just you know you going into it, you're gonna say all your affirmations, all your positive. Yeah. My friend told me, um, because I, I I was going through li literally this stint of like, okay, nobody's gonna like me, nobody's gonna like my work, nobody's gonna and she was like, You are traumatizing yourself. Stop traumatizing yourself. When you do that, you traumatize yourself and you you don't need that, you you don't need that. And she, when she used the word traumatized, it was like, that's, is that too dramatic? And I was like, no, I think that's pretty accurate for someone like me. <laughs> um, so it made total sense. And I've, I've been like on the flip side since saying, I'm not going back to that mindset. Um, so it's been great. Um, everything you say is an affirmation. Yes. Everything you say, down. everything you think is an affirmation. And you're just going to affirm, your, just, you know, wonderful great things are, are going to happen because of this reading people are going to love the play it's going to be so much fun you know just say all those kinds of things yeah i'm gonna <laughs> you are you're you're saying them right now in your yeah. head good thank you yeah. um and thank you for that because i don't know if you remember but like that journey was pretty rough <laughs> I, I it, it was a rough journey but we're at a different stage now and it took eight years, but here we are, you know? 
Um, but that wasn't my question. Um, my question was actually about the two feet and the lady and the Joe and the nurse and the, um, I'm still struggling quite a bit with just imagination, imagination of like, he, um, and hearing her, um, I, I know I've spent most of my time focused on the Joe character. So like, I feel like she's been very neglected. Um, so I just, I don't know how to get into that world where I'm not thinking so much more about him um, and, and, and hearing her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So again, it's just, let's, let us start with the affirmation. I can hear her. She's talking to me. I just have to listen, say things like that. I don't have to get it perfect first time around. I just have to get it down. Let me just write something. Okay. Let me just take a, take a, take a go, have a go at it. She will appreciate any effort that I do. Anything I write, she's going to love. And the more I write, the more she's going to love it. The more she's going to love it, the more I'm going to write. It's like a positive feedback loop. Okay. She's on your side. She showed up because she wants to be in your play. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> else you think she's haunting you? Yeah. Yeah. I. It's six o'clock. It's almost six o'clock. I have a watch me work tip of the week, which I try to remember to do. And I bet. So, um, uh, uh, James Joyce, you know, the writer, uh, or maybe it was so, no, I think it was James Joyce and Finnegan's White, begin again, begin again. And I was thinking, you know, um, being a beginner, just being okay with not knowing everything, you know, I, what I love about this group what we have is y'all are okay with asking questions, you know what I mean? And when you ask a question, I ask a question and go, I don't know how to answer that. And then something comes to me. Um, the joy of being a beginner or accepting that even if you've written for a while or a long time, or if you've written 20 novels, that when you start a novel, you're starting all over again and being okay with that. Um, and I think that's where a lot of rich, beautiful things come from, especially your relationship with the spirit that uh, is helping you, helping you get your work done every day. So I'm, um, you know, just the joy of being a beginner. Begin again. So uh, are we coming back next week? Yes, we're coming back next week. Co-sign that, Zoe. Come on. <laughs> yes. I, I'm here if you're here, SLP. I'm, I'm I've been waiting to hear from from you, you for December. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm 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 not as organized as I uh, appear no, to be. If, if you're if you're good, I'm good. Oh, yeah, we're back. Okay, so the 4th exactly. of, uh, of December. I'm sorry? The 4th of December. I'm yeah. sorry. Did I, not, did I not respond to your email? I apologize. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out during the week. Okay. Okay. Team New Work okay. Development. Thank, Thank you. We will. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll see, you. we'll see you next week. Bye. Have a great week. Happy Monday.